Okay, we had to take a couple steps back, but I'm making pretty good progress. As you can probably see, I actually took the tracks off the machine. I'm going to work on those later. My focus uh, lately has been getting all the spinny parts to work right. It seems that routing a belt from an engine to uh, a snowblower shouldn't be that difficult. The problem is that uh, I have a vertical shaft engine and a horizontal shaft snowblower. So, using a belt to make the uh, transition from vertical to horizontal. And originally, originally I ran the belt underneath the first try, but the problem I ran into is that there's just not enough clearance down here. So we need a little bit of space for the uh, belt to make this twist. It actually goes from being horizontal, and if you follow it up with your finger, you can see it actually turns almost 90 degrees by the time it goes into this pulley. So, uh, need need some space for that to happen and there just wasn't enough room underneath so what we ended up with was a bunch of idler pulleys and a good deal of hillbilly hillbilly engineering another problem I ran into when I decided to drive it off the top rather than the bottom is that it rotated in the opposite direction so to fix that it's a little difficult to see here on camera but what I had to do is make an X out of the belts so the one on the right side goes over to the left and the one that comes up here on the left side actually goes crosses over and goes to the right and by doing that we were able to uh, have the machine rotate in the correct direction and another thing the auger I was watching some other uh, videos of snowblowers and they tend to rotate about two times a second or 120 rpm this one's a lot faster than that I don't know how many rpm but uh, at least double or triple the speed so I uh, am going to change all the fluids in it. It's got this heavy-duty gearbox here. You can go ahead and uh, drain all the oil out of that, put some new oil in, and it has uh, several grease uh, zerk fittings, so we'll make sure she's all lubed up and ready to go. But it seems pretty heavy-duty. I think it can handle the, uh, the uh, added RPM. Another thing that's surprising to me is uh, how much wind, like how much air comes out of, out of the chute here. It actually is like standing in front of a, uh, you know, a cold blow dryer or something, so... It moves an impressive amount of air. Hopefully, the snow will be just as impressive when they finally get around to that. And I, uh, my muffler uh, fell off the machine earlier this year, so uh, I had this fine specimen laying around from a Volkswagen or something or other. And with a little help from an adapter kit, we were able to uh, put around the put around this machine here. So, so that's where we're at now.